Hey, this is the one and only storyteller. Coming from you out here at the Mustang today. Uh, it's been a long day. It's uh, around 5 o'clock. I've been out here since about 12. Doing odds and ends. Trying to uh, get a few things fixed up, which I did today. I finally got uh, my piece, my bracket, right here. Or the column came in today uh, a 1971 will work that's what that is um, they had to go to the hardware store and buy some new boats um, and had a little trouble with the bearing uh, the wife was helping me put the column in for a minute and I forgot to tell her to watch the bearing the bearing got sideways and I had to take the key out to take the bearing out to get it back in there correctly uh, I did get the key was stuck as you can see it locks again most people would take that out but I'm not especially the way they are today I don't know if you can see back in there there's a brace on each side as you can tell right there goes to the bottom of the dash let me show you over here comes through there another good look at the hanger so tomorrow i gotta tighten up these bolts here across there and one over there these three right here and uh i put the boot on I put the boot on as you can tell the screws are here all four of those i did tighten the knuckle back up and line the spline back up there's one oddball spline which I got it in there correctly. So that's a uh, that's pretty cool. I tell you what, we're moving right along, getting things done. It's hot. It was 100 degrees today. I was in the shade of the big maple, so wasn't really bad. I did find on a different subject. I did find the glove box latch for or striker for the. Um, 79 Ford. Been looking everywhere for it. Had it on the LMC list to buy, but I can take it off now. Also, um, needed a cable for the Mustang for the um, glove box, which I found one, as you can see. Uh, I am, am going to have to shorten it a little bit right here, but that's okay. We can get that done. And I found the button for either the Mustang or for uh, the 79 Ford, whichever one I decide to put it on. So, picture call it quits. Me cooking, uh, hit the old beans in the crock pot all day. They're done. I went in about 30 minutes ago and made up the uh, buttermilk cornbread recipe for the wife where she could uh, watch it until uh, it was done. She came out and said a while ago that it was ready to go. So I'm putting things up and I'm calling it a day. So as you can tell, this is a chore every day taking these tarps on and off of the car. And then I got to put all this stuff here back inside the shed so when I get started I don't like to quit I don't like to stop it, uh, I, I have to go at least five or six hours or it's not worth getting it out it would be different if I had a shop and I could just throw the tools down or pick them up and put them on the workbench and going in the house but as of right now I got I'll go in and eat here in a minute, but then I got another 30, 45 minutes of putting up to do, so. But, we're moving along. It's looking good. I am going to sand all this off tomorrow. All this here. Paint this up. And, uh, start looking for a steering wheel for the old Mustang here. And, uh, that's going to be it gonna be it for the day a little short one a little chickadees in there 
What are y'all doing in there? Yeah? Little chickadees? They're about to three months old, I guess. They're going to the big pen probably the next couple of weeks. So they'll be getting out of there. So um, appreciate y'all stopping by today. Appreciate everything. Um, ring the bell. Subscribe. Leave a comment. As I always say, if you leave a comment, make sure it's the last comment part of the comment is positive. Don't leave anyone else in a negative state. And we'll be seeing y'all. Thanks for staying.